Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now today we're going to take a look at the Xegu TL866 Plus Universal Programmer. I needed this programmer because I was busy reverse engineering an Asian system and I wanted to read some of the flash chips. Now initially I couldn't find a list of supported chips so I figured I'd download the program that comes with the programmer to take a look. Initially I was not having it because the program was hosted on mega.com and programs that are hosted on those sites tend to be lost when their accounts get terminated. But this was one of the best Chinese programs that I've ever seen. The UI is written in proper English and everything is quick and easy to find. There was a massive list of supported manufacturers and chips and there's even an option to search for a chip and it will find the right manufacturer for you. The programmer supports all kinds of footprints and packages, but for certain ones you'll need to have some adapters. Unfortunately, some of those adapters are active adapters that require some logics to be on the PCB. This makes the adapters not so universal, but on the upside it does allow you to read out a 48-pin TSOP with a 44-pin ZIF socket. Let's try to read an Arduino with the programmer. Take out the chip using the extraction tool. Be very careful not to bend any pins and when you want to insert it into the programmer make sure that you align the markers on the chip and on the case and push down on the little knob. In order to get the software to know how to read the chip we'll need to select the chip inside of the software. So let's search for Atmega 328P and click select. In order to read the chip we'll need to click on the read button. The dialog will show you how you need to place the chip inside of the adapter. Now if we click on read, chip is being read and the contents of the chip are being displayed in the hex editor that you see on the left. It will also display a ASCII value of the contents if it can. You can also connect multiple programmers to your computer and the software will automatically use all available programmers to program the chip. When you have logic ICs, you can also test these using the programmer. Just select the IC tester button and select the logic IC you'd like to test. Or click the auto find button and the programmer will try to find the chip you've placed inside of the programmer. When you're testing a chip and selecting a chip manually, it will give you an overview of all the values that the programmer is actually searching for. That's called the truth table. If you're wanting to program different chips using different settings, the program allows you to use Project, which will save and load all the selected settings for you. This allows you to swap between chips more easily so that you can focus on programming and not on selecting the right settings. To improve production and user speed, you can load in different algorithms that generate serial numbers for you. Those serial numbers will be stored on the flash in the location that you've selected. All in all, I really like this programmer as it provides everything that you'll possibly want, including ICSP programming. Even though that this programmer has been replaced with a newer version, the programmer's firmware is regularly updated. If you're looking for a quick and easy programmer with a massive chip support list, this is the one to buy. I'll include links to the programmer and to the adapters in the description so you can buy them if you'd like. I hope you liked this style of videos, if you did, please don't forget to let me know, you can comment and you can like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh hey hello, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well if you want, you can also view two other videos of me, so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like, so you always get notified of my new videos.